the guys you met, Aries Tao. Today we are doing the box opening for 8100 Pro, which is very similar size with a Coke can or coffee mug. Now I did some quick outdoor testing shots at the Tang Ho area. If you guys are shooting in a busy environment, so if you want to shoot as discreet as possible to draw as less attention as possible, this light is perfect for it. So it's 100 watts, which means it's smaller, but more powerful than a Hoshu flash. If you already have an on-camera flash, then 8100 Pro will be a good addition of your second light source as an off-camera flash. It uses Godox 2.4 GHz wireless system, and you can see it's compatible with X-Pro, X2T, and X1T. When you change the parameter on the trigger, even without doing the testing flash, you can see the power changes concurrently on your light, which is pretty handy for your system to, to tell your power output. This light is compatible with high-speed sync with no issues, and uh, it handles up pretty well. It is compatible with high-speed sync up to 1 out of 8,000 seconds. Uh, personally, I wouldn't push this light to that limit, but uh, there is option that uh, you can go with. I do, though, use high-speed sync all the time because I shoot my objects uh, moving all the time, so I tend to shoot about 1 out of 800 seconds, 1 out of 1,000 seconds. That's usually where I would use my high-speed sync. So 8100 Pro comes with round head, uh, which delivers fairly even light, even with bare bulb. It's compatible with AKR1 kit. I personally love my AKR1 kit. Here's a sequence of images I shoot with grid and half CTO gels on the train, which is quite handy. So the round head delivers very even light, like I showed you in the previous image. If you prefer to shoot with softer light and the natural light look, then you can, of course, reflect it through an umbrella, which makes the light even softer. I personally prefer a bit dramatic look, so that my main subject stands out of the image a bit more. But if you prefer the natural light look, you can increase the ambient light and decrease the flash output to deliver a more natural light look. So there's a two keyhole. The light can be firmly attached to the grip with no issues, and um, you can either handhold or you can attach them on a light stand. Here's the images I shoot with two 8100 Pro, one with grid with half a CTO gel to mimic the hair light, another one on an umbrella to deliver a soft key light on her face. What really impressed me is that this light is incredibly small. Like this is about 500 grams, which almost feels nothing on the hand, so that your assistant can handhold this light with no issue, even for, you know, for a whole afternoon or so. Show you what comes with a box. They come with a bracket which allows you to mount um, 8100 Pro on a light stand or um, handhold. Comparing with the previous model, you see the grip became larger, so which is a nice improvement because obviously you have a stronger grip to hold against with a stronger wind, also, especially when you attach an accessory with it. And it comes with a nice umbrella hole which allows you to quickly mount an umbrella in it. Uh, which is fairly, um, fairly handy. And it comes with this USB charger um, to allow you to recharge the battery. You can also have a wall adapter in case you want to charge it on the wall, which is really fairly nice. And of course, it comes with a battery. Notice that this battery is interchangeable with V1, which would make you potentially pack lighter if you already have a V1. The LED display has a huge improvement. It's uh, pretty bright. So if I shoot outdoor even on a bright day, I, uh, my assistant or myself can still see the, all the parameters um, with no issue at all. And lastly, everything comes nicely in this travel bag.
If you need to use 8100 Pro with softbox, you can always mount it on an S2 type bracket, which is compatible with all Bowen mount softbox boxes. You can share your accessories between V1 and 8100 Pro, which means if you already have a V1, you can have interchangeable batteries as well as accessories. The battery is pretty impressive. It should last 360 full power flash with no problem. In real life, I barely shoot full power, so that I would say that I can easily last the whole afternoon shoot for my style of photo shoot. And lastly, but not least, let me just show you the modeling light, which is quite bright if you shoot indoor. I wouldn't use this for outdoor shoots, obviously, but uh, if you shoot at the indoor or uh, at night, this will certainly help with your focus as well as being where the light falls. When you long hold the modeling button, you get to change the brightness of the modeling lamp from 1 all the way to 10, which is quite handy in different places. With indoor or sometimes in the night, uh, the modeling light will definitely help you with your photo shoot or even shoot at the main light source. But because I did a photo shoot in the afternoon, I didn't use that uh, during the shoot. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know about the 8100 Pro. I would love to address all of those questions you have in the next video. Hope you guys have a great Christmas and New Year break. This is your Might Aristotle. I will see you guys in 2021.